Okay, so I'm getting ready for today's project, which is attaching all the hardware for a second uh, single reef line. And so uh, I've marked my boom uh, where I need to put my new hardware. So this is where the cheek block goes. So this is for the first reef, and then that'll be for the second reef. And uh, you can see I took one of these screws out because I wanted to check this drill bit, make sure that it was the right uh, right size, which I think is going to work fine. And uh, of course, I wanted to. So this is all matching hardware. So this is from Dwyer, the cheek block. So I used all the stuff that uh, my original boat builder used. And uh, so I've got my little anchor, my cheek block. And then I've got the uh, the horn cleat at the end where you uh, secure the line. And then I did matching all stainless. Uh, so I tried to match. And this is a uh, oval head, so I'm using these stainless oval head screws, sheet metal screws. And then over here, these are pan head, and so I found the matching pan head screws and stainless steel at uh, Home Depot. So the one thing I did notice is that, uh, so my cheek block, these corners, um, they don't stick up very much. And whereas on this one, there's a little upward bend there at the end. So I'm going to have to do a little bending to get this thing to sit on my boom just right so that I don't have sharp edges. So I think that's going to be a little bit of a trick, but not too bad. And then I'll start uh, drilling some holes and hopefully... We'll get this second reef line installed and uh, be able to get to use it because we certainly, certainly have the winds for it in uh, in Colorado. All right, so I did a little bit of uh, bending, and I uh, used this rag and two crescent wrenches. I didn't want to use anything with teeth on it because I was afraid that it would uh, go through the rag and and grip and scratch it up. So uh, that's what it looks like. So basically, I put a little more of a cant. And then uh, on the ends, you know, these little tips here, bent those toward the boom. And uh, when I line it up now, all right, so when I line it up now, everything is very nice and flush. You can see it lines up, lines up real nice. So I think I'm ready to start drilling. All right, so... Uh, just got done mounting my new hardware. So on the left is the original uh, reef line for the single reef. And now we've got a new uh, Dwyer cheek block for the second reef. And then uh, I've got two Harkin uh, horn cleats. And then on the other side here, I got the eye strap. So uh, you can see how the reefing line runs from one side to the other through the cheek block. And then down, down to the cleat. And uh, so now I have two reefing points. So as far as uh, measuring where to put this, uh, so what I did is I, uh, I lined up the first reef line with the uh, tack shackle pin there at the end of the boom and then compared it to where the reefing cringle is and how it was aligned with this. And what I found was that the reefing cringle is lined up uh, actually, basically on the end, this line right here on the end of the cheek block for the first reef. So I just uh, went to the second reef, the new reef, and uh, again put it in the, uh, the tack shackle pin and then measured down the boom to see where the second reef and cringle ended up. And so it was right here and so I just basically did the exact same alignment with the original as to the new reef hoping that that's how it works I'm sure it will and then same thing you can see the alignment of the uh, the eye strap and the cheek block they're exactly the same so I'm very happy with how this turned out you can see the original and then my new hardware nice and flush and my new eye strap. And I think they're 
pretty much at the same angle, which is nice. Uh, you know, just the visual appeal, right, of having everything pretty lined up. Try to also do the same thing with the cheek block, get them on the same line, down the boom, and then uh, same thing with the uh, horn cleats. So again, I think they're pretty well lined up. I'm pretty happy with those results.